Hey yo, E Kings Fight News. And we're back. Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn just can't get enough. And Deontay Wilder is having a back and forth right now on Twitter. Yeah. Absolutely. These these two guys are having a back and forth sort of um you know I don't know, it's it's some kind of argument here talking about you know the fallout of negotiations between Joshua and Wilder. We all know what happened. And let's just take a look at what Deontay Wilder had to say. E King Fight News more on this. So like I said, uh, you can see here Deontay Wilder had this to say, this, I believe that means only 33 minutes ago, 50 million up front with 50% split deal for your biggest client, you're a disease to the sport, hashtag facts. Man, Deontay Wilder, I couldn't agree with you more. Eddie Hearn, the second he's made this whole marketing campaign to come over to the U.S., you know, had these fights with Daniel Jacobs, Big Baby Miller. And you look at what's happened, really, nothing really has, good has come out of that. You know, except for Daniel Jacobs getting paid. You know, Big Baby Miller getting paid. Nothing really good has come out of this whole situation. Eddie trying to make his first big fight ever. You know, fucking... I don't, I don't know. You know, it... it it's so weird because Eddie Hearn made Carl Frost George. He, he can make all these big fights with only the UK guys fighting each other. He can make a Kell Brook go over to the US and fight a Sean Porter for Sean Porter's belt. But he can't have Anthony Joshua come over and make 50 million against Deontay Wilder? That's right. And Kell Brook can go over there and fight for maybe something like a million dollars. Who, who knows what he got paid to fight Sean Porter for the IBF title, man. He can't fight news. We're not done. And this gentleman, I agree with him as well. Terry Franklin says, facts. They never wanted to fight you, champ. Anyone can see this a true American drama based on bollocks and lies. Okay. Here's the Eddie Hearn uh, dick rider. They never showed the 50 million, just plugged the number out of the air and ran with it. Are, are, are you, are you daft? <laughs> rubbish. Absolute rubbish. Shelly Finkel verified this offer. Steven Espinoza has verified this offer. The 50 million, is, see it's not pounds you dumbass. These Brits don't even know what the fuck they're talking about. Put a pound symbol in front of that 50. So this is what Eddie Hearn had to say, 4.17 a.m., and, and he's replying to that bronze bomber, and it just says, you know, this fucking nose that keeps getting bigger, that must be his nose, because honestly, honestly, he's the one that's lied like a Pinocchio, and it, it's the, all he says is sign the contract, sign what fucking contract? For April 13th, 2019, what contract? What is Eddie Hearn talking That contract with no venue and no date? What is Eddie Hearn talking about? Someone's, someone's got to explain this. So Deontay Wilder, also replying to Eddie Hearn and his bullshit. And, and, and what? See, I got I to gotta look into what he's replying to. But this is what Wilder had to say. Now nah, I'm good. You can come by I. You can come by I. Kumbaya. Go help those in need. You got that new boxing app, These Nuts, right? <laughs> These Nuts. Man, use it on that. You'll need to pay back all the money they loaned you. No top US fighters signing that shit's trash. Oh, man. Besides, why would you sign 
Why would anybody sign with you? Why would anybody sign with you? You purposely avoided. And then he went on to say the $15 million. He moved on to repost. And while there, did he just repost this? Or that's Eddie Hearn replying, okay, that's Eddie Hearn replying to him. And this is Bronze Bomber replying to sign the contract. He said, nah, I'm good. You can come by it, okay. So that's what it is, man. Wilder basically called him a disease, man. Eddie Hearn's a cancer to boxing. What do you guys think? That's what Deontay Wilder's saying. Nothing to see here, just a man not signing contract. Of course, it's Carl Smith with a with a Union Jack on his dog. I wonder what, like, I wonder what that's about. Lord of Terror, can someone translate this into English? <laughs> Yo, some bitch ass hoes out here, eh? Oh man, that smoke. Let's see the contract then and end it all. Yeah, let's see the contract. Let's see the contract. Fuck Eddie Sperm Punk ass at Eddie Hearn and at Anthony Joshua. Move on, champ 50, you know. Where do they do this act? Fucking cowards. LDBC, bro. There you go. Edward Grant. Shout out to the LDBC. On the feed. Joe Moore replies, why not? Ducking signed the contract. Family should sign with TMT. Do you see what they just offered AB? <laughs> you are 100 times better. Hey, it's not, it's not too far off. Yeah, man. They don't know. They don't know what it means to... To be a man of your word, absolutely true. He can't come. Okay, look, look at these, look at these hoes out here. He can't complain about a flat fee. Hey, hey, hold on a second. Idiot. Did. Did, did, did not Gennady Golovkin, that's right, Triple G Gennady Golovkin complain about a flat rate of 20 million to fight Canelo Alvarez in the first fight. He complained about a flat fee of 20 million and he rather took, what, 30%? He took 30% in the first fight for, versus Canelo. Why, why couldn't Eddie Hearn just offer 30%? You see how that works, guys? Because 30% of $100 million... Yeah, you do the math, you fucking dumbass. Get these hoes the fuck out of here, eh? <laughs> I, I wish this was a live stream. Because these guys will get owned all day long, man. Just is what it is, man. Fucking shit. Dude, Lindsay say he's lying. No way an English man would serve tea without biscuits. Oh, boy. Nah, man. According to Bronze Bomber, they did not have no biscuits. <laughs> WBC champion of the world. If you give God the glory, he will give you victory. Man, these two guys, man. I wonder how long this will last for. Because, I mean... This is the first, I mean, Mayweather Pacquiao had three sagas. There was the drug testing saga. There was the, uh, the, the stadium. Right before, right before Floyd Mayweather went to jail, he was calling out Pacquiao. And Bob Arum claimed that there was some kind of stadium that had to be built in Las Vegas. And that stadium would be built right when... Mayweather went into jail. Like, what the, what the, like, this is the kind of shit guys like Eddie Hearn and Bob Arum are known for doing. They duck. 
they duck fights at times. Because they want to build it up, man. E-King fighting easy. Y'all know what it is, man. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already. E-King fighting easy, man. We're out.